All right, I want to share with you my experience with OMAD, and this is it. OMAD is the diet that changed my life. It is seriously the best thing for me. I struggle with very resistant weight loss. And for some reason, when I condense all of my calories within a four-hour eating window or a 45-minute eating window, my body just melts away fat. I lost 60 pounds with OMAD. Background on my weight loss journey is that I started off at 282 pounds in a lot of chronic pain, a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. I had injuries postpartum, chronic back pain. It sucked. I turned to food to help deal with those issues. And then I lost a lot of weight with keto, just doing normal keto, eating throughout the day, eating around 1,400 to 1,600 calories. It was actually high protein keto. So I was eating high protein, which isn't technically keto, but a high protein, low carb diet. I lost 60 pounds very quickly. Then after going through my journey with that, I ended up getting stuck. I got stuck between 209 pounds to 220 pounds for two years. Two years, I couldn't get to Wonderland. I thought I would never see the scale hit 100 pounds. It wasn't until I introduced OMAD to my journey. OMAD just boosts weight loss because you're getting that daily fasting. That daily fasting, you're putting yourself in fat burning. Your body has no choice but to go into lipolysis. Lipolysis is the process of burning fat fat. And the reason that gets triggered is because our insulin levels are low. So our body will not burn fat unless our insulin levels are low. Now we can do that with diet, but that can be very difficult for someone like me who struggles with binge eating, who struggles with sh sh sugar cravings. Now I don't struggle with it now because I used OMAD and I use various fasting methods to help combat that struggle. But when I first started, I was struggling with sugar addiction. I was overeating so much, I would literally stuff my face with so much food, wait an hour and eat more. I just couldn't stop eating. And OMAD really was the key in helping me do that because of the time restricted eating. And not only that, it got easier over time. Why does OMAD get easier over time? Because your body adapts to it. It adapts to fasting during the day. It adapts to all the healing that's going on. And another thing with OMAD, it helps with autophagy. So autophagy is the process of our cells repairing itself. It's a cellular kind of detoxing process where our cells pushes out toxins and helps repair damaged cell organelles. Now, for someone like me who struggled with binge eating and struggles with overeating and struggled with all of that, basically my hormonal levels were off. Weight loss is a hormonal thing. Let's just be honest here. When you eat food, insulin gets, gets signaled and that insulin hormone is a fat storage hormone. So with OMAD, you're eating less. You're only eating once a day. So you're getting that insulin only once a day. So your body's not going to store fat throughout the day. So it really helped with that in terms of the autophagy thing. So it helped to correct my satiety signals. It helped to my cells to balance out the glucose levels because those glucose spikes that you get when you're eating refined carbohydrates or you're eating all of the good foods like pasta and pizza and uh, ice cream, all of those foods, Uber Eats, takeout foods, McDonald's, any of those good foods, they will spike your insulin levels. So when your insulin levels are spiked, there's no way lipolysis is going to happen, which is the process of burning fat. There is no way that's going to happen. So OMAD helps to combat that. Now, my experience with OMAD is that for me, it was the best diet to help control. Even so, I lost this much weight with OMAD. This is my OMAD transformation. I took a break. That's another thing I want to talk about with OMAD. I did OMAD straight for a year. My body started adapting to OMAD around eight months. And when my body stayed stuck at the lowest weight of 169. The thing is with OMAD, you need to vary your fast because your body will adapt to eating that way and then your weight loss will stall. So I would not recommend going that long with OMAD, but when your weight loss starts to stall with one meal a day, 
Stop doing one meal a day and start eating normally throughout the day. Start practicing doing that because the key to weight loss is learning how to eat light throughout the day. And that's what I did for a few months. I practiced eating throughout the day, controlling my appetite. And the way I did that was through eating high fiber foods, was through sandwiching my refined carbohydrates. But then I found myself in a place that I was stuck. The weight wasn't moving. My workouts were great, but I was stuck because of the refined carbohydrates. And then after taking about four months off OMAD, I'm back. Back to it. So I'm resensitizing my system to OMAD. So that's what happens. Your system kind of gets desensitized to eating one meal a day. And there are side effects to eating one meal a day for a prolonged period of time. It will mess up. If you're a woman, it can mess up your female cycle. For me, I remember last year after doing OMAD for a year, I was getting cysts and fibroids mm -hmm. and the whole lot. It was just Basically, what happens when you do one method of fasting for too long, you kind of put yourself in adrenal fatigue, you kind of boost your cortisol levels. So in order to not do that, you need to vary your fast. You need to go in and out of things. So right now, this bout of OMAD I'm doing will be about a month and a month and a half long, and then I will stop it. So that's like key that I want to mention. You need to vary your fasting with OMAD. So I would say consistently do it for 90 days take a break. Don't gain weight during taking that break. Make sure you're eating your vegetables. Make sure you're eating your non-starchy vegetables, which are key. So you're eating your leafy greens. You're eating your sweet potatoes. You are eating your quinoa. You're eating all of your healthy carbs. You're getting in that protein. You're getting in that fat and you're eating normally throughout the day and maintaining your weight. Maintain your weight for your bit and then jump back into OMAD. So yeah, with my experience, I lost weight relatively quickly. About the most weight I lost in one month was 12 pounds. And then the weight loss stalled between 8 and 10 pounds a month, which is, which is great. As long as there's consistent weight loss, it comes pound. People are so quick and they want that fast weight loss. Sweetheart, it did not take you one day or one month to put on all that weight. So you cannot expect to lose all that weight in one month. So I hate all of these things. Oh, how to lose weight fast. How to lose weight this quickly. No. Your mindset's wrong because if you have that mindset, guess what? You're just going to rebound and gain weight. You need to find a method that will help you stay consistent. OMAD helped me stay consistent because it helped crush my hunger, especially keto OMAD, especially when I was really out of whack. So there is my overall experience with OMAD. I will always come back to it when I start to have issues. And I think it's important to vary your OMAD fasting schedules. And to understand that you'll build a tolerance to OMAD. And in order to get yourself resensitized to OMAD, you need to take breaks. Um, for me, that, that desensitization with OMAD happened after eight months. For other people, it may be different. But there is that. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of pink heart emojis. And I hope this was helpful for you with me sharing my experience with OMAD. I'm so excited to be back on OMAD and starting my OMAD challenge. And I'm taking, sending you guys bad love. Take care. Bye.